Hello, it is Topical Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. And what other topic is more topical and in the news today here in the United States of America than the long-awaited and highly touted championship fight? The gloves are coming off. The bell will ring. 90 minutes of championship fighting. Uh, what's the uh, Michael Buffers thing? Uh, let's get ready to debate Trump and Biden. Two old men with a history of corrupt dealings, of uh, mistreating and abusing women, um, uh, whatever. And I'm, I'm sure they have lots of other things in common. Oh, yeah. If you listen to their opponents, both of them will be the end of the U.S. as we know it. Uh, they're both uh, going to drive the U.S. Uh, off a cliff. Uh, both of them uh, are unfit to hold the office, and uh, they have so much in common. So uh, here's the thing. For uh, fans of marketing and advertising and sales, students of human behavioral psychology and the art of persuasion and sales and influence and communication, tonight will be extremely educational. I mean, Trump is the absolute living master of manipulation, deception, communication, coercion, sales, influence, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, Biden's uh, at least Biden before he, you know, got his Alzheimer's or dementia or whatever he has, uh, he's still a little bit there, but he was pretty good at it back in his day too. Um, and so if there's any inkling, whatever they got, a you know, medications they got to give to Biden to hopefully come out in the last 90 minutes and, and it be a somewhat of a sound mind, this could be fun. Uh, it's almost undoubtedly going to be fun just because Trump's there and anytime Trump is doing anything it's always entertaining who knows what crazy ridiculous things he's gonna say but uh, deep down behind it uh, if you're a business owner and you're looking to get better at communication sales marketing advertising persuasion influence uh, you want to study Trump and see what he does to uh, confuse bamboozle bamboozle deflect uh, cause chaos, uh, throw a monkey wrench into everything, and and really, uh, I don't, he's never lost the debate. Uh, and so, just to see what the heck tricks he's going to pull tonight, be very informative. Of course, it'll be educational because both of them are going to have some zinger one-liners in there, like, "Oh, uh, you know, uh, Trump, you you didn't pay any taxes. I release my tax returns." Biden's going to say, uh, "How come you don't release yours?" And Trump's going to say, "Well, I don't know what Trump's going to say, but he could say." Yeah, you can release your taxes all you want. That doesn't matter. I want to see the taxes of your family because that's where your corrupt dealings shovel all the money to. So where's Hunter's tax return? That's what I blah, blah, blah. And uh, whatever there is in the sparse, fake distanced, fake mask wearing BS distancing audience, uh, there'll be some kind of reaction. So there are going to be all kinds of tidbits and entertaining stuff like that. So it should be fun. And it'll definitely be uh, educational to those who are students of persuasion, communication, manipulation, influence, sales. Um, in the long run, though, of course, basically completely meaningless. Every four years here in the U.S., we're told this is the most important election of our lifetime. And it's never not only the most important, it's pretty much not important at all. Uh, certainly not to a business owner. OK, uh, we just need to know who's in office to adjust our strategy accordingly. So. The nation as a whole, and certainly business owners, survived eight years of Bush, disastrous eight years. We survived eight years of disaster of Obama. So far, we've, des the, uh, we've uh, survived four years of Trump. We'll survive another four years of Trump. We'll survive four years or one year or however long Biden could possibly make it. We'll survive that, too. We just need to know, uh, and that's why the market, by the way, keeps going up and up, right? Up and up and up under Bush until they had the the crash and the dip, then it went up and up and up under Obama, up and up and up under Trump, because smart business people don't care whether there's a socialist or a capitalist in office. We don't care whether it's a swamp dwelling, corrupt, lifetime, corrupt government official, or it's a newcomer to Washington who's only been corrupt in his private life, but hasn't really ripped off all the taxpayers for 47 years like Joe Biden. It doesn't matter. And whatever policies they're going to do in social policy, we just need to know so we can plan accordingly. And hopefully that's you, that when this all shakes out and you see who wins and who loses, 
should never affect your income. Every should, thing should affect it in a positive way because you're going to use the right strategies depending on who's in there, and therefore, it's not going to matter who wins. Second of all, in the long run, because we have checks and balances, we have a Senate that will block every single thing that Obama did. Now we have a House blocking every single thing Trump wants to do. And if one, house, one party keeps one and one keeps the other, that'll block everything that anybody wants to do. So nothing's going to get done. Nothing will change. Nothing big anyway. It's really not a big deal. Never consequential at all. Who, which politician wins which race on whatever level it is, because it's all good fun and entertaining and educational, but really now, do you really want to get all caught up and all emotional and all deranged because the person you wanted to win didn't win? Business owners don't have time for that. We just say, okay, that's so-and-so that won? Great, let's get to work and put our strategies accordingly. So this is not going to determine who wins. It's just the first of three scheduled championship fights, just like Ali Frazier 1, Ali Frazier 2, Ali Frazier 3. Tonight is Trump Biden 1. Almost undoubtedly, the, the person who's a little rusty loses by a landslide in the first one. That'll be Biden. And I think that's why they put it on the pro-Trump channel, because uh, if they got to put one on the pro-Trump channel, might as well put the first one that Biden's going to look ridiculous and terrible in anyway. But then he'll shake off some of the rust and maybe he'll be better in the second and third ones. And for those... They want him on the friendly leftist channels, which will lob him more softballs and, and let him get away with stuff and whatever. So, again, that's another thing to study and see how that's all working out. So, consequential? No. Entertaining? Ought to be. Educational? Definitely will be. I'll be tuning in. I think we're going to get Super Bowl-like numbers. Up to 100 million or more Americans will be watching this thing. And I'll probably watch it two or three times to dissect the whole thing, and then I'll... Uh, run it by other experts in human behavioral psychology and and body languaging and uh, you know uh, uh, all the uh, the uh, psychology behind everything and uh, we'll be dissecting this and talking and looking at it and uh, learning from it. Uh, who wins the election? It's not really going to matter, but we're going to have fun in the debate. So hope you do too. Thanks for being here on Topical Tuesday. I'll catch you back here tomorrow on World Wide Web Wednesday. Over now. Bye-bye.